Whoa, whoa, buddy. <laughs> is something, everything okay out there? Yeah, I don't think there's any danger. Three cop cars. Well, you don't see this every day. Did you guys see what's going on at all? No. We no? Just up. bystanders. Yeah. I guess we'll see. Oh, somebody might be hurt. Yeah. Well, homeless maybe or somebody on a towel. Oh, it makes everybody accountable. You got to think about that. Oh, I know these guys. Hey you guys, you know what's going on here? I know, I always just come across stuff. I thought they were coming for me though, luckily they weren't. <laughs> this guy just been chilling here for a while? Yeah. Yeah, but he was, I mean, he hasn't been this spot. You see him around town. What? Just the whole time nobody noticed? I, I went through here a couple days in a row on my thing. I never noticed the, I mean, just people napping out here, right? Yeah, I can't confirm that it was definitely on Thursday, but I do remember somebody being there. Oh, look, he's all bruised completely through his back. Yeah, he's, he's mormatose, whatever you call it. Yeah, all of a sudden, like, three cops cars show up right as I'm coming down onto the, the beachfront. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> they get out. <laughs> Shit. Oh, well, of course, the first responders are the fire truck guys. They're actually first responders typically these days. Firemen. They used to be like second responders, but now there's just no ambulances anymore, right? So they respond to everything. 99% of their job is responding to car accidents, right? Like. While it is, you're allowed to kind of film public. Yeah. Just be bear in mind where you post it because nobody wants to find out their son has died on Castanet, right? Okay, well, we're not identifying any faces or anything. I was thinking just, just you try your best because then, you know, just give us our chance to identify yeah. and we can know what we know. Just because, like I said, it, we've had this before where, you know, people find it, oh my God, that's my son. Kind of yeah, I know. Right? So yeah, don't worry. I'm only from this angle. I can't make any identification. So it's just, this is the scene. This is what's happening. Perfect. Yeah, we have a dead person and that's about it. That's all we are reporting on. Excellent. But thank you for mentioning. Yeah, like I said, we knew, yeah. Okay. absolutely, you can film both places. Just yeah. like I said, just try your best to respect the little bit of privacy we have here. Give us a chance to let the family know. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. I won't film the face. Thank you.
Okay, they're roping off the area now for the investigation. Oh my God, what happened? A dead body. No way. Somebody was just, you know, it looks like he's sleeping. People sleep up here all the time, right? They stretch out. Yeah. Well, one person is there for multiple days and it's like, hey, maybe this person is not sleeping, right? That's the scenario from as what I see. Because you can't go and just wake everybody up. <laughs> Well, people die all the time for sure. There's a lot of terrible things going on in this world. Hey guys, this is Marcel Ernie Racing News. So police responded to um, a body just up over there in front of the stage on the hill there. Possibly been there for several days, but nobody's gonna notice because people just laying up there all the time and nobody's really obviously checking. So uh, maybe would commissioners would walk through there in the night and just, and you know, see somebody laying over and then all of a sudden they see them the next night or the commissioner's changing over. So some questions about that, I guess. Because um, I know there is security that does laps, but maybe not on the hill there. Um, and then, yeah, so middle-aged, possibly a male. Um, from the clothes out on the outs, so look at the clothes. I could, I, there is a probability that it could be somebody um, who is not in a good standing with um, paying taxes and such, right? So could be somebody who's homeless, could be, um, you know, just making ideas. But uh, Ernie Racing News, guys, and uh, I think it's January 20 or. July 28th, 2023. I'm going to get this out right now in Kelowna, BC, guys. Cheers.